Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I will be talking about three different sunglasses I use at different price points that can maximize your experience on the bike. Before I begin, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I will also be doing a century ride when I hit 100 subscribers, so hit that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button if you like what you see and comment down below. So let's get started. I will start with the lowest price point first, then work my way up to the highest price point and give you a reason as to why these particular sunglasses have different features. I will also include a link to the sunglasses in the description section if you are interested in purchasing any of them. So the first one I have here, this is the Tifosi Swank sunglasses. Um, this is actually in the women's version, although you can get one for men's. Um, it comes in multiple colors from blue confetti to bottle green smoke. This one happens to be the brown fade and I chose just a generic color because I also would like to use them as everyday sunglasses. I will post its other features up here, um, but what I do love and I would like to accentuate this about the sunglasses are the lenses here. Um, for the price point, I like how in the shade I can still see where I'm going. Um, I think it's they're called like the chroma something lens, chroma pop or something. Um, and in bright sunny days, it provides ample protection from the sun's UV rays. However, I've tried using them before uh, on a ride and that's where they kind of fall short on. Um, because the lenses are not as wide, um, what happens is these are not cycling specific sunglasses. So they do a poor job in protecting my eyes from debris that can get in the sides here. I wore this these sunglasses only once and during the ride and I noticed that when a car passed by me on the left side, um, loose dirt would get into my left eye. And so at that point, I had to rub it off my eyes and also keep one hand on the handlebar. So it was really annoying and frustrating to do that and also unsafe. Um, so I wouldn't really recommend these sunglasses for performance riding if that is what you're looking to do. They do work great if you're just riding leisurely, um, maybe around town or around the beach. They, they work perfectly. Um, I also would recommend them if you are cross training. Let's say, for example, if you're running, they do not bounce around. Um, they stay still. And so for that reason, I recommend it for that. Next, another Tifosi sunglasses. I have to say Tifosi does make some great sunglasses for reasonably at a reasonable price. Um, these are the Tifosi Women's Vero Wrap sunglasses, which goes for $70 on Amazon. By the way, um, these also are on Amazon. Uh, the lenses transition in sunny conditions. So right now it's not as dark, but it will darken if I were to stand in um, and the sunlight. It's fingerprint resistant, which is great, and it also prevents fogging. Um, the downside to these are they constantly roll, uh, they constantly slide down my face. So I constantly have to, you might have seen in previous videos where I am con I'm constantly pushing it up because they slide down so much. And over time, as you know, riding long distances, lighting for longer hours, it gets very annoying and very frustrating very quickly. Also, a thing that I don't like about these sunglasses is that you can see here that it has these rims. Now, it's bad enough that they slide down my face as I'm riding, but when I'm going fast downhill and I'm in a kind of like a tuck position, trying to go fast with my head down and looking forward, as they're sliding down, the rim actually gets in the way of my line of sight. So that's important. Okay, you don't want your sunglasses to do that. Uh, one last point, as you know, you often have to check the rear to make sure that there aren't any cars behind you or that if a car was coming, uh, you kind of just move over to the side to give them room. Um, 
I often have to check it. I, I'm a very careful rider, so I often check my, my rear. And a quick glance actually pushes, because there's wind coming in my face, uh, coming towards me, the wind actually pushes these sunglasses sideways, and sometimes it actually um, could fall off. And so I have to quickly grab my, my sunglasses to keep them in place. Um, this has also happened to me riding downhill, going fast, and that's really not a place where I want to be thinking about my sunglasses falling off. It has its many great features, but it also has its many downsides, and downsides, I think, outweigh the benefits to these sunglasses. Um, would I recommend them for cycling? Absolutely. Um, again, if you are leisurely riding or if you're starting off riding um, and um, you just want something, a little better coverage uh, than these sunglasses, then this would also work. Um, although I would have to say though, for performance riding, I don't recommend them because even with some of the um, coverage here, they, I still get debris in my eyes. And I've actually worn this on my Connecticut Grand Fondo ride and I had debris uh, when it was really windy, I got debris in my eyes. So um, good for leisurely riding or for somebody who's starting off, I probably wouldn't recommend this for performance riding. Now moving on to the highest price point, sunglasses. I have here, uh, these are, I just got them, the Roka's SL-1X in glossy white and HC Fusion mirror lens. Uh, when I first put them on, I was not and still not used to how wide these lenses are. I got them because I had the issue with the Tifosi where they kept sliding down my face and among other things that I mentioned before. Um, what I like about this is that it has very large lenses. So you can see there is no rim at the top um, and it's perfect because um, it provides ample coverage from wind and debris and sun also. I also like that when I do, when I'm riding, I do a quick glance to the rear to make sure that there's no car. It doesn't actually, it doesn't shift at all. Um, I can have, I can have wind coming down, coming at me and I'm going downhill and I shift and I look to my, to my left to check if there's a car and it doesn't budge. So they are perfect. The HC Fusion mirror lens also provides protection on very sunny days while allowing me to be able to see uh, where I'm going under tree covered areas, which is important because here in New England, um, we're trying to avoid potholes. And if you can't see, if you don't know where you're going, if you can't see where you're going under tree cover because there's so much shade, then it could become a problem. Now, the only downside to uh, these sunglasses that I kind of still have a little issue with was that, is that um, Roka markets these sunglasses to have gecko grips to keep them from sliding off. I have to say they, I, they do um, slide down a little bit, not as often as the Tofosi sunglasses do. Um, it's probably because I also have a wider nose and my nose isn't very high. And so maybe it's meant for people with higher noses that stays up uh, in your face. So I'm pretty disappointed in that, um, especially when the price is $165. Um, but I think I'm still going to keep them because on the other positives that I've listed before, these are still better than the other two for providing protection, enhanced visibility, and overall performance when you're riding. Um, well, let me hear from you what you have to say about sunglasses and what you wear and why you wear them. Comment, it, leave it in the comment section down below. Um, or if you think I've missed something, uh, definitely uh, say something in the comment section below. Would love to see other options out there as others might have different opinions about riding with sunglasses. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the content, hit the like button and comment. Don't forget to share the videos as well. Until next time, enjoy the ride. Take care. Bye-bye.